the sim raid yt and today we're going to be doing the doom tower before we go into the doom tower we'll just check out the great hall so you can see what levels are at on the great hall so you can see what i can achieve what levels in the game as you can see i've put a lot of effort into the void at this stage and for the accuracy on the void but we're building yellows as we go along the champions we'll be using will be Mother Cybele. She'll be going the lead with her because she gives additional speed of 24%. Her skills are Master Dread. As you can see, I've got it booked out. It attacks all enemies, has a 25% chance of placing a 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns. Her Soul Shepherd places a revive on death buff and a 60% increased defense buff on allies for two turns. An uncanny transfer. This will give her, if she has more health than another champion on your team, you can do the swap over and swap the, the, the health across. Mastery, she's been built out for offense and defense, as you can see here. Next, another champion on the team will be using Solus. He'll be used as a nuker. He's the same building offense and defense movements. So you know, he'll be there for a lot of skill, for a lot of attack on in our team. His skills are bewildering blow. Attacks one enemy has a 35% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. And you can see I booked him out as well. Attacks all enemies on his reign of terror increases the duration of all debuffs on each target by one turn. Then places a provoke. Debuff on all enemies for one turn. Places a shield buff on this champion for two turns. Equals to 30% of the damage inflicted. Damage increases by 10% for each debuff on the target. Wave of Despair. Attacks three times at random. Each hit has a 75% chance of to remove all buffs. Also places Provoke debuff for one turn. If a buff was removed by this skill. The Provoke debuff cannot be resisted. And then his aura won't matter because he's not in the lead anyway. Another champion on the team will be Madame Serres for her masteries. We build her out in defense and support because she's really there for her buffs, or really for the, what we're going to use. It. She's booked out as well. Panic spread attacks one enemy, has a 20% chance of placing a fear debuff for one turn. This chance increases to 30% if the target is under one debuff. This chance increases to 45% if the target is under two or more debuffs. Midnight Ritual decreases attack and decreases defense. Removes all buffs from enemies, and then places a 50% decrease attack debuff and 60% decrease defense debuff on all enemies for two turns. Trick or Treat attacks all enemies, has a 40% chance of stealing one random buff from each target, places a block debuff, buff on all allies for two turns if any buff is stolen, places a true fear debuff for one turn on enemies who have buff stolen. And she's booked out as well. Wishes Grace places a shield buff on this champion equal to 10% of their max HP at the start of each turn. When attacked while under a shield buff, has a 35% chance of placing a fear debuff on attackers for one turn. We will have AOX in here as well. His masteries. He's put in some offense and support. Because he's there to, to heal and give health to our other champions. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 10% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for two turns. Places a 50% decrease attack debuff on all enemies for two turns. Also has a 75% chance of decreasing each enemy's turn meter by 20%. Places a 30% decrease critical rate debuff on the target for 2%. For two turns, if they have a 50% or more turn meter after turn meter decreases. Lure of Restoration. This is what he's really in the team for. He attacks one enemy, then heals all allies by 10% of their max HP. Heals each ally for, by an extra 2.5% for each debuff on the target, and I have him booked out as well. And then increases the duration of two random debuffs on the attacker by one turn when attack occurs once per hit. As you can see here, we have him up. Critical damage 79, but his crit rate is important to make it so he turns at 224. His accuracy is 224, so it's pretty good rate for at this stage. And then we have 
Rule Guard. Now, Rule Guard skills, he's going to be another nuker in the team. Attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense buff for two debuff for two turns. And you can see I've got him booked out. His hamstring attacks four times at random. Each hit has a 60% chance of placing a 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns. Each hit also has a 60% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 25%. But this is his most important one, is his takedown. Attacks all enemies, damage increases according to the enemy max HP. And you can see I've got the additional books on here. His masteries, he is set up under offense to give the additional attack and some support. And that's how we'll be doing the start of the Doom Towers. We'll be doing just the normal first. And we're at the Doom Tower, floor 19. We have Mother Cybelli in the lead as she has the additional Aurora speed, 24%. Mounted Ceres is our buff debuff champion. AOX as well. He's here to, as a healer for our team. He can give heal for each, each of our champions. And then we have our two nucleus in Royal Guard and Solus. We'll get straight underway. Mother Sabelli will lead off as she has the most speed in our team. So she leads away. Yeah, the more speed the better for your champions. We get all those buffs and debuffs out there happening, which makes our them when our nucleus come in they can do a lot more damage. We just did our soul move there by Mother Sabelli, so if any champion did actually die then, they would get automatically revived. That's another additional benefit of Mother Sabelli in a team. He's got an unkillable at the moment, so we just have to wait that out for it to disappear, and then we before we can finish this round as we go there Madison Serenis is taking care of that she removed that buff that's a good idea why you want to have buff and debuff champions in your team so they can remove buffs from the enemies as you see in that last stage she had an unkillable up so without Madison Serenis then we would have had to wait for that to end before we could have taken him out and that's floor 19, which reward of 25 gems. Okay, thank you.